of the great things that for uh, virtual environment designers is that people have immense special effects budgets in their heads uh, that we can tap into. <laughs> Once you can do that, then really incredible things happen. We're working with ideas of, of mindfulness and also looking at ways of using uh, VR to enhance the, the learning and the acquisition of the skills behind mindful meditation. The idea of mindfulness meditation for people who have chronic pain is really interesting because to ask someone who has pain all the time to focus on their experience of pain and then to try to get in touch with that is a difficult thing because who wants to really engage with their pain? I've had pain for um, 25 years, so I think it gives me this this large scope or understanding of the landscape of chronic pain. Because she's dealing with the problem, she has an intuitive sense. Uh, well, let's try this and see how it works on me. Many people who have chronic pain have kinesophobia, which is less a fear of moving than a reluctance to move. And so we're using the treadmill to help people who have chronic pain get moving and get used to the idea that they can move. As a designer, I was trained that our attention is focused outward at all times. So I'm calling these interfaces intrafaces. It's sort of like a zen cone in design almost, at least it seems that way on the surface, and that is that you're trying to design an immersive environment to help you into your own head. What we're seeing is a virtual forest and our biofeedback device um, measures galvanic skin response. So our skin is our body's mood ring and as I relax the fog dissipates to let me know that I'm affecting some physiological change. If you start using tools like like the biofeedback sensors where you can have the external world reflect what's going on in your body uh, then you know in essence the world becomes your body. It's not as fast as taking medication, let's say, but over time, the effects are very long lasting. I think pharmaceuticals will always be around, but if we can add something like virtual reality that can reduce reliance on pharmaceuticals, then that for me is the killer app.